Hello everyone. My name is Robin Kamboj and today I will talk to you about Google's Associate Under Developer Certification along with the complete process for how you can earn it as well. To begin with, my certification link is given in the video description so you can know what it will look like once you have one of your own. Before giving the exam, I wanted to pass it in a single attempt. Despite the fact that we are given 3 attempts to pass the exam for one submission of the examination fee. I went about going through the exam content given on the official website thoroughly about twice or thrice before scheduling the exam. I considered the exam a very big deal for me and I went through hundreds of websites regarding the importance of the certification, the procedure for how the exam is carried out and everything else I thought I should be knowing of beforehand. But the way I studied and the amount of what I studied actually felt like an overkill after passing the exam. I wanted to make this video so that you don't unnecessarily overstudy for the exam as well. I now feel that the entire process of getting certified for becoming an associate and or developer is, well, not that hard. Let me tell you in detail. I will begin with the certification fee. The fee is about 6500 Indian rupees or about 160 dollars to schedule the examination. Once you schedule the exam successfully, as I said before, you will get 3 attempts to pass the exam. Once you pay for the examination fee, you are supposed to click a button pressing which will officially start the exam and after that you will have a maximum of 8 hours per attempt to complete it. After you click on the button to start the exam, you will then be directed to a page displaying all the requirements that you need to fulfill in order to pass the exam along with a link to download the Android Studio project on which you will be working on. You have to download the project using this link, import it in Android Studio and write code as per the requirements given on the examination dashboard within these 8 hours. Now you have to remember that the examination requirements are divided into 3 parts coding, testing and debugging. The requirements are specific to the syllabus mentioned on the official website which you can find on this link. If you are thorough with all the topics given in the syllabus on the official website, you should be fine with the task completion. Once you are done and feel like you have covered all the requirements in the project, you will be required to make a zip file of this project and upload it on the submission page of the examination dashboard. Once you have uploaded the project, you will also be required to upload your ID proof and latest photograph as virtual documents on the submission page of this dashboard. Once you submit the project and all other documents, you will receive two emails soon after the submission. One email will be regarding the fact that your submission will be reviewed soon and one other email regarding the fact that your ID proof was verified successfully. After about a week of this submission, you should receive an email telling you whether or not you have passed the evaluation round for the submitted project. If you did not pass the project evaluation round, you can immediately retake the exam for your second attempt with no additional fee. If you happen to fail the second attempt, you can try for your third and the last attempt after a minimum of 2 months, again with no additional fee. But if you happen to fail in your third attempt as well, then you would have exhausted all your 3 attempts for the fee that you paid and now you would be able to apply only after a minimum period of 6 months by repaying the application fee to earn another 3 attempts for the certification. If you pass the project evaluation round in any of the 3 attempts, you should receive an email to schedule the time and date for the exit interview round, which is the final round before you earn your certification. The exit interview is held as an online video call on the platform called Zoom. You will receive a link, clicking which would take you to the call with your interviewer on the scheduled date and time. Officially, the interview is supposed to last for about 30 minutes, but normally it gets over within 5 to 10 minutes. You are first asked to show your ID proof to the interviewer. After that, you are asked about the project that was given to you and how you went about writing code for the requirements on this project. Then you are thrown some random questions related to Android and programming. That's about it. After the online interview is complete, you will again have to wait for about a week or so to get the confirmation of whether or not you have passed the exit interview or not. 
If you fail the exit interview, well, good luck on the remaining attempts. But if you happen to pass the exit interview as well, a heartful congratulations to you in advance from my side. You will be notified by mail that you will receive another email later with your certification credentials and the benefits of your certification. So that's the entire process of getting certified by Google summed up in a few minutes. I would be more than happy to answer your queries down in the comments and feel free to correct me if I made a mistake while explaining the process somewhere in the video. I hope that this video provided you with some valuable insights. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to watch more videos like this one and like this video if you learned something from it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. The task 2.